Hi people, how are you doing? <coughs> this is episode 22 of my season 3 Let's Play uh, on Minecraft 1.2.3 I have still to introduce the crafting table 3 but I will do so uh, during this uh, well, during this episode and one of the frequent cuts I make you can see uh, well parts of my base are completely covered on vines and we need to repopulate our bees here yeah indeed we do oh this this one didn't produce any well we now have hum some honeycomb and I am going to uh, prepare another item in here or in here I'm not sure right now because one of the items we need to craft requires um, the use of the carpenter now the carpenter is another machine from here let me uh, see if we can find it farm arboretum another farm, another farm, a pit bog, pit bog, combine, logger oh the fermenter is another we need to craft by the way uh, the bottler, the steel, biopower generator, rain tank, carpenter, here we are bronze, the sturdy machine and glass, easy we are going to need uh, some extra bronze yeah, because we don't have any. There we go. Yeah, this should be more than enough. <coughs> and glass, of course. And let me think for a second. We need one carpenter. Perfect, and we need um, one moistener, which was fermenter. Sorry, yeah, bronze gears, all the are now bronze gears are crafted like uh, regular gears. However, they use bronze instead of um, stone, oh. uh, instead of iron. I, I'm sorry. So we get four of these, the machine, place them in here. Now the fermenter requires uh, as dark a place as you can find. So I'm more than likely going to use a piston to create a dark room. And I am going to need the vializer. And the vializer requires, of course, okay. It requires some tin. Let me grab uh, well a, a bunch of tin. Uh, it will require redstone, diamonds. Yes, it requires one diamond. Oh dear, we got some anyway, and some glass panels. Perfect. Now the only thing we need to do is get up and start crafting. Now the vializing tool can't be crafted uh, unless you use the carpenter. Shame, but true. So let's place the carpenter in here. The moisture, the fermenter doesn't need any kind of power, so that's good. And let me think for a second if it was a little like so yeah vializer can't get it need to turn on these machines or let it work of course the centrifuge is going to do its work too maybe I should uh, it's not taking any power now isn't it what about now? Mm. Might need a little more. Okay, I am going to do something in here. Uh, well, as soon as this finishes crafting, I will modify a little this system. 
so I can decide uh, what do I want to do and what do I don't. Uh, but for now, let's find the nice spot to place the fermenter. And of course, we need. Uh, let me place this in here. Oh, bronze doesn't really have a place now, does it? Uh, let's place it in here too. And I bet my quarry there just finished working. Yeah, it has. You can see it already. You can see the well, the bedrock down there. So let's move it. And we need one, two, three, four, five, and on the six. Perfect. Okay. Let me see. One, well, I could use this. So one, two, three, four, five, and on the six. And since it's already up, perfect. It's like I planned it this way, isn't it? Ha. Uh -huh. Okay, can receive through, so it will start working. And meanwhile, we can place all the other items we need. One, and there we go. Perfect. Now, uh, if you were wondering how to move mobs, you can use the portal gun to hold them. Yay! Same way you do with uh, por uh, with blocks, like this. We can do it with animals. Yeah. Oh. And yes, it also works with uh, this beast, whatever. Let me grab them, by the way. There's no use in them being sitting here around. Oh, where did I place? Yeah, here's my scoop. And I got another hive. Haha. <laughs> another thing you might have noticed, I concentrated here the production of energy. You can see it's going rather well. And I'm essentially turning the Eternalist fuel into redstone in order to, well, produce more Eternalist fuel. At least until I am, I am full of it. Now I can just store the rest. Yes, I do have quite a bunch of items. So uh, essentially, we want to place the um, the fermenter in a uh, somewhere we can access without much of a trouble. We need it to be dark. We need it to be protected from light, and for that we need a piston. It's this, I believe this is the most easiest way to do it. Now we're going to need a yeah, slime ball. And this is a vanilla recipe. ta -da! Sticky piston. Now with that and a lever. Perfect. Oh, night's coming. <clears throat> By the way, be careful unless you disable it into the config file. If you launch your portal to the moon, you can get sucked in. Also, it will cause griefing. It will suck I uh, blocks to the moon. Yep, like in the end of uh, Portal 2, where you get uh, to set your foot on the moon for a while at least. Don't worry, I don't believe that's uh, a real spoiler. <laughs> anyway, uh, we need to place this in a way that won't be messing too much with things. And I believe here should be good. So. Okay, now if I place you here, I can't get out of course, but I can do this. Mm, no. No, not really. Uh, okay. However, I can place it in here. And place the moistener, oops, the, sorry, the fermenter in here. Shift jump, shift jump, I always fo forget that. Okay, this is, uh, well, 
not not all that uh, elegant but I suppose it should be more than enough now if you're wondering why do we want these it's essentially a way of burning some of these wheat we are we have uh, on spades so we place the wheat in all the air it's it has changed hasn't it is the fermenter what I wanted to craft? Um, no, it was the moistener. Oh dear, I I completely. <laughs> ah, but don't worry, I knew I was doing something right. Yes, yes, I knew it. It's my version. I'm sticking to it. We need uh, to graph ourselves some more bronze and another four stone gears. Some more glass, and we use the fermenter with a redo of the. Oh, sorry, forgot about actualizing this. I'm going to need more bronze. Mm. Only setbacks all the time. I believe there's some sort of conspiracy or something. What do you think? Yeah, I tend to conspire against myself all the time. Okay, fermenter in the middle. Um, wasn't like so. Copper gear, not... Ouch. Not bronze gear. I am a dummy. Uh, sorry. We require copper gears, not uh, bronze. Okay. Oh, I didn't even need it to craft uh, all that anyway. <clears throat> Perfect, moistener. There we go. Okay, now the moistener works uh, like I was talking before. It will turn wheat into something else. And it won't work unless it's dark. Shall we entomb ourselves for a moment so we can see it? Okay. Uh, no resources or wrong combination. Why is that? Oh dear. Uh, it did require some water or something. Yeah. Yes, it requires water. Oh dear. I forgot. I completely forgot. I will need to make something. Which means it's time for Buildcraft! Oh dear! Yes! We're going to make something with Buildcraft! Can't believe it myself. So let me prepare something and I'll be back. Well, there is a small problem. You can see here I already crafted myself a crafting table too. Uh, this is... I already recorded it, but it was uh, without sounds again. I forgot to turn off the mic microphone and spent about half an hour without uh, realizing it. Oh dear. So the crafting table two, three, it's uh, crafted like so. It's a new iteration of the crafting table two mod that uh, had been discontinued after Minecraft 1.1. You might remember I used it in the last uh, season of my Let's Play, but uh, it's now being maintained by Sildo. I don't know if it's the same cell though that made the teleporting pipes mod. The main difference between crafting tables um, 3 and 2 is that you can see, for example, items that uh, can be crafted after crafting items. I don't have some, I only have some wooden planks of me. You can see there are stone, cobblestone, vines, the electric jetpack, and the wooden planks. Yet I can see the scaffold. The project table, the wooden gears, stone gears, sickles, automatic crafting table, the detector storage, 
all that stuff that would require uh, pre-processing. That's because the new version of the crafting table will uh, show you everything you can craft with the materials you have in hand, plus anything you can craft after crafting something with the materials you have in hand. Another change I made was to, well, place here the apiary. It, uh, three apiaries. I don't remember right now if I told you how um, anything about this or not. But uh, I did place here a pump, a pump uh, from Billscraft. It is taking water and it seems like it's a little more stable than before. And uh, that's because, well, I also placed in here the centrifuge and the carpenter. The, carp the carpenter requires water in here. That was the reason it wasn't working before. I crafted the, um, the bealizer. It can only be crafted in here and it requires diamonds and uh, glass and other stuff and it requires two buckets of water. You can place the buckets of water directly on the top of the carpenter uh, in here or you can hook the carpenter to a stable supply of water like a, a Billcraft pump. However, since I have it uh, up there I won't be doing so. Besides, I'm only crafting the items in the carpenter because I have to. I also moved in here this uh, energy production mini facility and you can see there's a, a piston in here, it's in fact a sticky piston so I can access the moistener. The moistener will turn uh, well, wheat into mulch and decayed wheat, and moldy wheat using some seeds to produce mycelium and you can see it's now saying it's not dark enough. The darker it is, the better for this uh, system to work. And of course it requires uh, regular wheat, which is placed in here, and seeds, which are placed oops, <laughs> sorry, in there. Uh, it will move automatically the items to here. And it's, it's producing mycelium. Were I to place, for example, cobblestone instead of the seeds, it would produce mossy cobblestone. And if I placed um, these stone bricks, it would pr uh, be producing mossy stone bricks instead. So by placing just uh, a piston in here and uh, this little mechanism, I can have it uh, hidden without monsters spawning on me. So what else did I made before? Well, let me storage the mycelium in here and all this in here. Perfect. Yes, I crafted uh, the clean star dray, which is crafted with four clean star clean star sway, which are crafted with four clean star iron each one. And I also crafted here the crucible of souls and three beast purifiers. They are, well, uh, they are from Eldritch, maybe? No, they are from the Forbidden, I believe. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, the Crucible of Souls. You can see it has to be crafted into the mixed, cr uh, into the mixed uh, crafting table we have in here. This uh, dark infuser because it requires taint and you can see it's a five star symbol, a pentagram. Uh, the Crucible of Souls is crafted with a soul fragment, a gas tier. You might remember I had two from my incursion into that um, infernal realm with Mistcraft. Bone, rotten flesh, a regular crucible, and, and that gives us the Crucible of Souls. Now, from the Tainted, I believe it was, we can craft, yeah, the Beast Purifier. Like so. The enchanted silver wood is crafted like regular enchanted wood, however, it requires one lock of silver wood and uh, one, beast crist one crystal of any kind to be produced. Uh, you won't be getting a 4 to 1 or even 5 to 1 ratio like the regular enchanted wood.
and I also wasted a lot of bees doing that. So essentially, uh, the bees uh, purifier works like the these little chimneys in here. However, they will destroy the taint instead of just uh, release a small amount to the air. Also, for the crucible of souls, it will kill mobs if placed close by and generate t a taint and zombies. H of course, it's uh, it's quite useful to make uh, to place in a trap instead of a lava blade. And as you can see up there, I am crafting one uh, such trap. Right now, access must be done by your own means. Ouch! Shouldn't hit this because well. I have some lag issues right now when I try to fly up there. You can see the vines are slowly taking over. They are a slow but a sure way of um, go going up and down without having to trust. Oh dear, ah, it's a small pest only. With without having to craft. Uh, Regular, I uh, uh, what's the name? Yeah, ah, uh, yeah. There we go. Without craft, uh, without having to craft regular stairs, wooden stairs. So you can see these are four six by six platforms. There are two mar uh, two blocks of margin separating them all, and there are signs in here. Uh, water sources, there are two in each uh, of the uh, um, origins of this cross and one on, e on each uh, corner. So there are these two blank spots to avoid this, uh, this in here to go in there and create places where the water wouldn't flow. I got this, uh, well it's a, a 20 by 20 in the end. I got uh, with a hole in the middle so the moss can fall. I got this uh, recipe into YouTube by searching a dark room recipe. All, uh, also, you might have noticed there's no lava blade in here. I um, I will be using the crucible of souls and some obsidian pipes to get all the loot and the bees. And uh, of course, I will have to play some tubing to take the taint and the bees downstairs. That being said, I might move the zombie spawner into here and place the uh, one of the runes in here to keep this chunk loaded. I don't know if uh, I require to do so because I can see down, star, down there there are some mobs being spawned every now and then. And look at this. Space and N lets you get a controlled descent. And then I disable it and of course I got myself some damage. Oh dear. Uh, so the idea of course is to use the crucible of souls to generate uh, some bees and uh, some tom that thom some thom sorry, some taint that will be destroyed. Uh, what else? Uh, yes, there's also another thing. I truly suggest you look into the um, uh, Feed the Beast Let's Play that uh, Direwall20 is uh, hanging into his channel because uh, it has several players and uh, well, there are a lot of ideas and things that you can discover there. There's an idea about a uh, 3x3 three three piece of uh, regular uh, 1, 2, 3, yeah. Okay, a uh, place like, like this, sorry. Which is uh, left with, uh, with only one space, everything else is dark. And there's a deployer on their side, a deployer from Rest Power 2 with bone meal and some 
filters or tra so some transposers on top. I believe it's uh, one in here or and another in here or just one in here. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. However, the idea is uh, to use one bone meal to turn all this into um, some flowers and grass. And they will drop because it's dark and the transposers will take them and you will burn them and get some EMC from them. Uh, so let's take uh, let's look some, uh, to some numbers. Of course it's a little it's somehow a, an exploit uh, but I might uh, use it uh, in uh, the next episode to show you how to craft it and more than likely it's a more efficient way of farm your EMC than the one I'm, I'm using right now. Uh, no, not mushrooms. A rose and a flower. I believe the rose and flowers have the same EMC, but we can check in here. So a flower has 16 EMC value, a rose has 16 MC value, and bone meal has 32. Yeah, so you can see if you have uh, one of each, you have one bone meal. And that is good because the extra EMC is devoted to create diamonds, for example. However, for that to work, you need this energy condenser system, which means uh, four obsidian, four diamonds, and an alchemical chest, producing EMC value all the time. Plus, you need you need a clock, which I am not really a fan of right now. But uh, since I am going to try and update this production system, I might as well mm, make one and, and make the system work all the time and have uh, an EMC producing system around here or something. So those are the plans for the future and what I am doing right now. So essentially I need now to craft in here I don't really want the mobs to die when they fall or something, but I don't really want them either to be able to flee. So what I am going to do is essentially encase them in here. Oops, I waste here one. Mm, there and there. Here and here, perfect. And of course you can see uh, all the stair I made there is quite useless if I do this. Not really a problem, I can place it uh, a little down the stairs later. So what I am going to do is essentially, well, change this, uh, well, better this one, and remove this. Place the crucible of souls in here, you can see it's now generating nothing. And I am going to grab myself six, six obsidian transport pipes. Yes, I am going to need to down one. Okay, now I'm going to place the... Yes, I can place them in here. Yeah, they won't be able to drop by if I do this. In fact... I'm going to place this in here. And here I can place the rest. Okay, perfect. So now I need some iron uh, transport pipes and I am going to need a wrench and I am going of course to need one item teleporting pipe. So let's go down another, place here all this, the last uh, pipe, another down, oh dear, this is a little sluggy isn't it? And we can place now the teleporting pipe in here and say it go to 1. Thank you very much. Now we move. You can see some places are more clear than others. That's essentially where items are allowed to go. Right now, as things are, uh, items can go only, uh, well, regardless of, what, of which of these four obsidian pipes they take, they will all uh, go to the teleporting pipe. <clears throat> and now we cover this so it won't affect the teleporting system. Mm. Hmm.
Whoa, I didn't want it to fall like that, thank you very much. Okay, now this out. And I can mostly take out this platform. Don't worry, I can always take the cobblestone downstairs and the torch. Of course, the only problem is going to be this uh, Thaumic generation system. I need to pl start placing some pipes in there. So I am going to leave here some place to stop by, just in case uh, later I need to. Yeah, like this is good. And one thing I like from Optifine is you can disable the, the, the dripping water effect. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, I need to cover the top of the system there and of course the electric jetpack is extremely useful in this task and it will be uh, almost ready to roll. I only need to place some beast piping down here and some storage deposits and it will work quite nicely. Hopefully nothing will explode and release huge amounts of taint. Hopefully. And the system will provide me with uh, some thomic uh, energy for free. Uh, however, that will be for the next episode. Thanks for watching. This has been episode 22 of my Let's Play series. A little eclectic since I forgot to record the sounds on some of the uh, scenes that I have deleted. But nonetheless, I believe it's interesting. The next episode, I hope we will be removing the rest of the red power parts of the system. There are six diamonds in here and... Yeah. One, one stack and a half or more equivalent in there so we can craft enough logistic pipes and hopefully enough modules and uh, we are now burning so, uh, our excess of wheat in here without much trouble which is also good so I'll see you again tomorrow at this time and hour and be ready for more crazy ideas remember I carefully recommend you to watch the Feed the Beast uh, Let's Play series of Dire World 20. It has a lot of uh, many interesting ideas because it has a lot of great people working there. Stay tuned and have, and have fun people! Bye!